Ron McNair from Library Desegregationist to Challenger Mission Astronaut. I brought this in. This is from 1986 when the Challenger um, shuttle exploded. It's hard to believe it happened that long ago. Also, there were quite a few heroes that were involved on this mission. We're going to talk about one of them, Ron McNair. The reason why I also chose to do this is one of the a uh, mission specialist was from the town of Beaufort, North Carolina. This is um, a grade two lesson and it'll take you about one class period. The library is the heart of the community. In the segregated world of South Carolina in the 1950s, only white people could have library cards. In 1959, Nine-year-old Ron jumped up on the counter, insisting he be able to check out his books. By resolving this matter peacefully, he was able to learn how to pursue his dream of being a pilot. So in this lesson, students will learn about what libraries can offer a community and write an opinion piece as to why libraries should be available. The materials you need is the book, Ron's Big Mission, by Rose Blue and Corrine Naden. You'll also need the website from your local library that shows activities and services it provides. And then you'll need the Ron's Big Mission worksheet and answer key. Objectives. Describe the importance of local libraries and have an opinion as to why regions should have them. And then the students should be able to discuss how Ron McNair contributed to equal rights for all citizens of the United States by retelling the plot of this book. So the first thing you're going to do is ask students if they've ever been to their local library. It can be in their city, it could be a county library, or it could be a state library. And the slide I put in there is the Library of Congress. Then discuss what they did there and if they participated in any activities. Go ahead and list these on the board. And these could include summer reading programs, guest authors, um, magic shows, all sorts of different things that go on, or even storytelling times. And then you're going to share the book, Ron's Big Mission, with them. I've selected a few, oh, a couple pages to share with you. Basically, um, the story st starts out, it's in South Carolina, 1959, and uh, I'll continue from there. It took Ron a while to find some books. He always looked for books that showed children who looked like him, but that was hard. There were not many books about black kids on the shelves. At last, Ron found some books on airplanes. He took the books and he started to walk to the front desk. Ron felt nervous and his hands felt a little sweaty, but he knew what he wanted to do. Mrs. Fielding, a white lady with, who was often in the library, stopped him. You can give me the books and I'll be glad to check them out for you, Ron she said gently. No thanks, Mrs. Fielding, Ron said. I'm going to do it all by myself. But Ron, she started to say. Juan wa Ron was already on his way to the front desk. He put the books on the counter. I'd like to check these out, please, said Ron. The desk clerk didn't look at him. Didn't she hear me, Ron wondered. Ron knew what he had to do. He jumped up on the counter. He watched the desk clerk to know he was serious. I'd like to check out these books, please, he said gently. At last, the desk clerk and Mrs. Scott just looked at each other. You know, you can't check out those books, Ron, said Mrs. Scott. You can read them here. That's the rule. Only white people can check out books and take them from the library. Ron 
Ron looked at Mrs. Scott and the desk clerk politely, but he would not budge. I always read them here. Today, I want to check them out, said Ron. Mrs. Scott and the desk clerk did not know what to do. Ron wouldn't get off the counter. People were stopping and staring. Finally, the desk clerk called the Lake City Police. Then you're going to complete the worksheet, worksheet on Ron's big mission. And it looks like this. It's basically, you just put the number, it's in sequential order. Talk about how his demonstration in the library changed Ron's life. And then go to your local library website and look at the services it offers. And they even include ebooks on, on my local library, which is Avondale and uh, Goodyear. For assessment, mastery will be 80% or higher on Ron's big mission worksheet for a reading grade. Paragraphs will be graded for introduction, two reasons, and a conclusion. A score of four or higher on the six traits writing rubric in the area of organization will be considered mastery of the writing standard. Giving at least one reason why having a library card benefits the person or community will be considered mastery of the geography and civic objectives. Extensions for this take a field trip to your local library. Find out what you need to, get, need to do to get a library card. Invite your local children's librarian to your classroom and have them talk about library events and services. Another great book is Richard Wright and the Library Card. You could compare and contrast, contrast the two books. Finally, you can design a bookmark that includes what libraries can do for you. Keep on reading.